news you can trust. Well, hello there, everyone, and we're back at it again with another episode of Railfan News. I haven't done one of these since November of 2020. It's been a very long time, but Railfan News is back here, and today we are going to be discussing Canadian Pacific's hydrogen locomotive. So, Canadian Pacific has selected three of their Electromotive Diesel SD40-2F locomotives to be rebuilt a hydrogen locomotive. So, this is what a normal Canadian Pacific SD40-2F looks like. And then they repainted it into this. Well, this here is just a picture of a concept. This is just a concept of what the locomotive will look like. But however though, today, as of January 24th, 2022, Canadian Pacific's Hydrogen SD40-2F has been revealed. This is the real news right here. And these are the pictures of it. And credits, photo credits go to the Canadian Pacific Railway for unveiling this good looking locomotive. It is wearing different, it is much more different than what I expected. As you can see, there's a little hydrogen logo right there. And the locomotive is painted with silver and green, and the truck frames are also blue. Canadian Pacific, however, plans to extend their roster on these hydrogen locomotives. So far, they only plan for three. However, though, they're going to use $15 million to make more of these. And I heard they might be getting eight more of them. I'm not exactly sure. How many more is going to come out? But this is all that I know of as of right now. So, let's go over the hydrogen locomotive. Alright, so, uh, looking from this photo here on the CP hydrogen locomotive, it's not much has changed except for the numbering. Originally, the Canadian Pacific SD40-2F units had started in the 9000 series. But it looks like these hydrogen locomotives are starting in the 1000 series now. Just like Norfolk Southern's SD70ACEs in the 1000 series. These hydrogen locomotives here were first announced in December of 2020. And they worked on the project throughout all of 2021. Now today the big moment has happened and it is revealed. And as I said earlier, Canadian Pacific will be granted $15 million by the Emissions Reduction Alberta, or ERA. The grant enables CP to increase the number of hydrogen locomotive conversions in the project from one to three and add hydrogen production and fueling facilities. Canadian Pacific, not only that, is also the first railroad to attempt making the hydrogen locomotive, and so far it seems to be a success. So, now you all are probably wondering, are hydrogen locomotives safe? Well, yes, they actually are pretty safe. They are even safer than cars, and they use internal combustion engines. These locomotives here are are pretty safe from what I've heard. In the other local news of Illinois here for Railfan News, Norfolk Southern Train 21T recently derailed in Springfield about last week in delaying Amtrak. This is the photo right here. And also for the Southern Illinois area on the BNSF Beardstown subdivision. Canadian Pacific and Central Maine and Quebec units have recently been spotted going on the BNSF Paducah local headed to the Progress Rail in Mayfield, Kentucky. For any of you rail fans in Southern Illinois, come to the BNSF Beardstown sub and another one might show up soon. And for our last thing finally, the Evansville and Western Railroad has not ran a train to Oakville in months. Now, why is this, though? Well, the Oakville Grain Elevator is installing a new scale, and by the time this thing is done, 
EVA WR's traffic should increase and rise up on the on the small short line. Anyways, that is about it for the rail fan news today, and thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Your host, out.